At times, you may receive an array of objects when retrieving data from a site. Yet you may only need one property from each object. Let's look at how we can take that array of objects and retrieve a single property into another array. Before we get started, make sure to click that bell button and subscribe. And remember the discount links to all my courses in the description. Also, my website has a list of all the tutorials I've published. There are over 200 now. Now, there are numerous examples out there of retrieving a property from an array of objects. It is a task that you frequently need to do. In this tutorial, I'm going to be using the JSON placeholder site to retrieve an array of 20 objects. And then we'll look at how to extract just one property from each object and store the value of the property, the values of those property in an array. Now, the JSON placeholder site is just a test API. So it's similar to things you may encounter if you're retrieving some data from another site. But let's go ahead and jump in. So right here, I have a fetch statement that's going to go to this JSON placeholder site and retrieve the to-dos. Um, on this sample site, this test site, they have 200 to-dos that are stored as objects. And so it will bring all those back. This initial statement is just going to log them to the console. So let's go ahead and just look at what we're getting back. So then we know how we want to retrieve these. So here is an array of 200 objects. And you can see we have a user ID, an ID for the to-do, a title for the to-do, and whether it's completed or not. Now, what I would like to do is retrieve just all the titles and put them in their own array so that I can display them. And so that's what we're going to do with this sample. So let's jump back to the code here. So we're going to modify this and set that up to do that. Now, first, what I want to do is I'm going to declare a variable up here where I'm going to place all those titles. And obviously, this is going to be an array. At this point, it's going to be an empty array. Now, there's a lot of different ways to do this. If we had a lot of applications where we wanted to do something like this, we'd create a function where we could pass in the URL and pass in what property we wanted to retrieve, and that would retrieve it. But I'm just going to show you the basic idea of this. So this will be a fairly short. So what we want to do is modify this right here, this then method. So fetch returns a promise. And if you're unfamiliar with fetch, I have tutorials out there that you can review on it. It returns a promise. So we use the method to convert it to JSON, the response to JSON. And then this second then method just logs to the console. So instead of logging to the console, what we're going to do is retrieve just the titles and we're going to assign them to this array. So let's go ahead and do that. Now, the trick to this is using the map method of arrays. Now, what map does is it acts on an array by calling a provided function on each element of that array. So it's going to iterate over this array of objects that we have, and it's going to call a function that we provide on each object. And what we want it to do is return the value of title of that property, and then it will be stored in a new array. So map creates a new array. So let's go ahead and begin setting it up. Let me remove console.log here, and we're going to put in our titles variable because that's where the returned array, the final array, is going to be returned to. And we set that equal to JSON. That's this variable here. That currently contains all of the objects. It's an array with all the objects. And so we're going to do dot map using the map method of arrays. And now we need to pass in a function because, as I mentioned, map invokes that function on every single element in the array. And so we need to pass in what that is. Now, that function is going to receive one of the objects. So as it iterates through all the objects, it will receive one here in this obj variable. And then once we know it's doing that, it's pretty simple to get what we want. When it receives that object, it's going to return, using this arrow function, it's going to return obj.title. So basically, we are just extracting the title property, the value of that, and that will get returned. And it will iterate through 
all of those objects, do it for every single object, and we'll just get an array of titles, which we could then more easily display if that was our purpose. So pretty simple task here once you know how to use map. Let's see how this works for us. So we'll save that, come out, and let me just refresh that. And I'm going to take a look at titles, and there we go. We have an array of 200 titles. And that would obviously be much easier to display at this point. And that would be the reason we'd be doing it is because we want to use that data for something and so we extract it. So pretty common task, something that you may need to do whenever you're retrieving data from a site. And so very important to know about. All right, please hit the like button and subscribe. And remember the discount links to all my courses in the description section. Click that bell button to be notified about new releases. I try to release tutorials as often as I can. And once again, thanks for watching.